In this video, we're gonna show you how to tell if a diamond is fake or real. We're gonna try five different ways to test a diamond at home. As jewelers, we may use loops, diamond testers, and lights. But today, all you're gonna need is a newspaper, a lighter, a sheet of fine sandpaper, and a glass of water. We have two stones to test. They're both round, they're both six mil, but one is real and one is a cheap fake. So let's do these tests and see if we can tell which one is which. The first three tests we're gonna do is not gonna damage the stone at all, but the last two are gonna destroy it if it's a fake stone. So if you don't wanna damage your stone, either it is a fake, I recommend not doing the last two. So let's get started. This is called the breathing test. What you do, you take your diamond or your stone, you hold it up to your mouth and you breathe hot air onto the stone it will fog up. If it takes two to four seconds for the fog to clear, that's your fake stone. If it clears in like one second, that's your real stone. So let's give it a go. As you can see, the diamond on the left was the fake, the one on the right was your real one. A quick little tip with this one, if it's quite warm outside, stick it in the fridge for a couple of minutes, it makes it much easier to see the fog. So this is the water test. We've not tried this one before, we read it up online, but we thought it's quite easy, so let's give it a go. So what should happen? The diamond should sink to the bottom and the cubic stone should float on top or halfway in the glass. So That's what it say. So just take a glass of water and let's go. So real diamond, That's straight to the bottom. Fake diamond, straight to the bottom. So for us, that test didn't work. No. Um, maybe there are different sort of cubics you can get. I know from what it is, you say the diamonds have got more dense to it, um, but some fake diamonds might be more light. So some fake stones may float to the top, but in this case, the one we was using sunk to the bottom as well. So it's not giving us a defining answer. This one is called the newspaper test. So in this test, you find the small bold text, you put the diamond flat down on top and the real diamond, you're not meant to be able to read through it. The fake diamond, you're gonna see some letters. So let's try. I should give it a go. So we take the real one first. So what you do, you place it face down on the text and... You can't see nothing through that really, can you? I can't see anything. Should we try the fake one? Fake stone and on top. Yeah, from here I can see straight through it already. I mean, you can't read through it, but you definitely can see parts of the letter and the black thing, so... I think that test is, that works. That works for me. You can definitely tell which one is real, which one is fake. The last two we're gonna show you now, they will damage the stone if it's fake. So if you're not comfortable in damaging the stone, it's just in case, take it to your jeweler to get tested because that is the best way. But this one is the sandpaper test. So this is my favorite. This is the one I would use myself personally if I needed to test the stone. You get it, you put it on the sandpaper, you rub it right and left. If it's a fake stone, you're totally gonna to destroy the top of it. You're gonna see loads of scratch marks. If it's real, it's gonna be no marks. The stone's gonna be as it was before you rubbed it on the sandpaper. So John, let's see you do it. So as you can see, the one on the left is totally scratched up. It's gone misty, it's finished. And the real diamond is totally crystal clear. There's not a mark on it. It's the same as how it was. What we call this in the east end of London, we call this a jackal, which means a fake. And it's worth all. This is called the burn test. What you're gonna need for this is a glass of cold water, you're gonna need a lighter and a pair of tweezers. To do this test, you put the stone into the tweezers and you hold it under the flame for about 30 seconds. Then you dip it in the water. If it's a fake stone, it should totally crack internally and be smashed to pieces. And the real stone, should be totally fine. You get it out of water. It's as it was before you burn it. Let's get burning. As you can see, this is the real diamond. And this one was a fake. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of us, we've got lots more jewelry making videos talking about diamonds. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. But what I do recommend, if you want to get your stone tested, go to someone professional who can look at it properly and not, not use a lighter. We hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.